Today I have purchased something that I have wanted for many years, and it's in this box. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we are back with a redemption collection purchase. How do you redeem a collection purchase, you ask? Well, previously I have tried to buy the cards that are in this box in other videos uh, in a little bit of a different way though. I'm not gonna spoil it yet, but we do have a giveaway. I do have an amazing Defenders booster box. Simply like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications if you wanna win that. And don't forget to let me know in the comments, what do you think about this purchase that I made today? Was it worth it this time? Was it better than last time? All right, I'm gonna crack into this box. This is a pretty small collection. It's quality over quantity. So we don't have a large amount of stuff in here, but the stuff in here is very, very nice. We will start with the smaller part of this purchase, but it's also pretty cool. I have two first edition boxes of raw yellow mega pack. This is a pretty cool set that you kind of forget about. It's basically legendary collection GX with a slightly different card pool. It's a lot of the same stuff because it's like, of course, GX with the raw yellow and all like the Jade and the Chaz, you know, the Zane, all that different stuff is in here. Like just like legendary collection GX, except some of the different cards are secrets and they're commons instead. Basically flips a lot of stuff around. It's a pretty rare box to see though. We're gonna be opening at least one of these. I've got two of them. Uh, in a future video. So this was not the main focus, but it was a cool pickup that we're gonna be opening, of course, on the channel because we love opening cool and unique old product. And I think people really like that set as well as Legendary Collection GX. So I might do a video with both of them. In it. Now to the part that we have seen before. So if you guys remember, if you're a longtime fan of the channel, we once bought a product, a Yu-Gi-Oh product that was extremely rare. This product was a Game Boy Color game. And in that video, I called it a Game Boy Advance game many times. Got a lot of comments about how I said that wrong, which, yeah, look, sometimes I misspeak, guys, okay? But you may know where I'm going with this already. That game was supposed to have three specific cards inside. And you may not remember what happened, but I'm gonna flash back right now to that moment when I realized that the cards were not inside. What's the best way to open a game, a sealed Game Boy game? I don't know. Here we go. We have now made this a $5 Game Boy game. Now we have to worry about the promos. This is scary. <laughs> you know you know exactly what cards you're getting. It's still super scary. I haven't opened up a, a Game Boy Advance new game in, you know, 15, 20 years. Here we go. Where are the cards? All right, so they should be. All right. All right, here we go. Where are the pro? Okay, they're in there. Maybe. Where are they? There has to be promos in here, right? Oh no. There's no promos. There's no promos. Well, we have the game. <laughs> All right, now that we've relived one of the most famous moments on my channel, you guys may have not been around for that moment, and this may have been the first time you saw it, but it was one of the most heartbreaking times of all of my openings. And I spent a ton of money, $6,500 on that game, just to get those minty promos. And of course, they weren't even in there. We still have not completely solved what happened in that video. There is a chance that it was resealed. That's kind of what I think happened. There's also a chance that they were sealed originally with no promos, just on accident, like a factory error. Funnily enough, that's where I really started working with Sassy Auto because he was the one who sold me that game. It turns out the guy he got it from was super sketchy. So yeah, it worked out that we actually started having a great relationship after that. So pretty cool, pretty weird way to start a relationship. I ended up like sending him some money, but he basically took a huge hit on it for me. And I was like, this is a good guy. I need to work with this guy. And now we redeem ourselves. I have purchased a few epic cards to make up for that terrible moment. All right, so I know this isn't gonna be a crazy long video, but I figured you guys would wanna see this, this pickup because this is, like, this is basically redemption from like, what was it, two years ago, three years ago at this point? Like, I think it was like three or two and a half or three years ago at this point that we tried to do that. And ever since then, I have never actually owned all of these cards at once. I have owned them kind of on their own. One time I had a DDS I got from a collection, Dark Magician. I sold that one to Paul from Team APS. He then graded it a 9.5 at BGS, so I sold him a very minty card. Uh, congrats, Paul, on that pickup, by the way. And then, uh, the Booster Box Bros actually gifted me a Blue Eyes White Dragon one time. It was in what we call nostalgic condition on this channel. You guys know what that means. Really bad condition, but it, I still have it because it's a really cool card. It was a nice gift. Even in terrible condition, it's worth a couple hundred bucks and they gave it to me. And then for the Exodia, I don't know if I've ever actually owned it. Maybe like a long time ago I had one. I can't remember. I get it confused with the Exodia LOB head sometimes. But now we are looking at potentially 
all three, assuming that, uh, you know, we got these and they are legit. Let's see. Okay, cut the bottom open to make that a little easier. All right, first off, we have a DDS Dark Magician, one of the most beautiful looking promos ever made in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. The recent Adidas shoot promo, people are comparing us. I'll strictly compare this to uh, the DDS promo, so probably looks pretty good as well, but this is the OG 2002 Secret Rare from uh, DDS. Then they have the second wave of DDS. This is the first wave. We have not only that, we have the Blue Eyes White Dragon. First of all, I want to check out these cards condition as we go. Let's start off with the DDS uh, Dark Magician. If they are in great shape, I'm going to, of course, grade them because I, uh, you know, I love grading stuff and I would love to have a graded set of these because I obviously don't even own them raw. All right, we have Dark Magician. Centering looks pretty good. Sur wow. Surface looks pretty good. A little bit of a print line there, but I think this thing's still getting graded. It looks pretty good. I'm definitely going to send these to PSA because the majority of my collections PSA, I like to send stuff to BGS or CGC for fun every once in a while, but something like this is going straight to PSA. I'm excited to see that Dark Magician. It looks awesome. All right, our second card, you can see that Exodia over there like peeking out a little bit. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. This is the big one. This is the one that, of course, it's the Blue Eyes. It's the OG, you know, starter deck art, even though it's not from the starter deck. These, funnily enough, funnily enough came out around the exact same time. So let me know in the comments. Sound off. Are you team? DDS, Team SDK, or Team LOB first. That used to be a huge debate back before the boom when LOB became a ridiculous priced card. And then everybody's like, I guess we're Team LOB now because it's really expensive. Wow, this card looks good. Centering is a little bit off. Probably going to get a 9, but uh, because of that, a little bit of a little nick back there. Maybe even an 8 because of that. Well, maybe we will try like BGS or something with this. I don't know, maybe. Because the centering is a little bit... Uh, it's not horrible, horrible, but it's definitely off. Still a really clean copy. Maybe I don't even grade it. Maybe I just keep them raw. I don't know, but yeah, I'm probably going to grade it. You guys know. All right. Uh, last of the DDS promos. I'm not going to spoil what the rest is. Uh, these are the big ones, but there's some other cool stuff in there as well. Uh, it's hard to really top an Exodia set, which, uh, you know, these dodged me. Dodged me in the DDS game. I bought the game to open them myself, you know, for fun, for a sick video. It turned out to be a sick video in the wrong way. Centering is a little bit off. Not too bad, though. Surface is super clean. Back oh. super... So that it, oh, oh, oh. We never mind. That is not clean. That back has a line on it. Okay, but this is, a, this is the Exodia. It's not that big of a deal. I did get photos of these, and uh, I probably knew this when I bought this, but I can't remember if I did. Um, but yeah, this, this is not the one I'm too worried about. These are the guys that I'm really the most excited about. Of course, Exodia kind of has his multiple prints, but unfortunately there's a line on that. It's still pretty minty. looks like a good binder copy. The rest of our cards, let's run through these. We have a slightly faded McDonald's pack, which you guys know I'm a huge McDonald's fan. Check that out right there. McDonald's, um, Millennium Shield over there. We got Goddess of Wind. We got Cosmo Queen. I mean, you guys know faded cards are really awesome. We have Salamandra, Acid Trap Hole, Siaru. So there's the other DDS promos. Seems like there's no Millennium Shield, unfortunately. That would be cool if there was. Uh, I bought these a while back, and I kind of forgot what all was in here. So the DDS promos, if these are minty, I'm definitely going to grade these because I think this is one of the most underrated look. Not probably not underrated, but just a very nostalgic card for me. The pink, uh, you know, Siri Yaru, or however you even say it. I always get it wrong. But the main focus of this video was this set, Redemption. Amazing awesome set blue eyes looks very nice probably like near mint plus that thing looks minty this one looks you know it's got the little crease but they all look really solid in great condition i mean you could almost say these came right out of the pack with how this surface is looking stuff they look really really awesome so this was an amazing pickup i know it's not a crazy long video and we haven't picked up like a ton of like raw card collections in a while and this is only a very small one but quality over quantity I had to show you guys this. If you're excited to see those graded or to see some of these raw yellow mega packs open, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme, Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Nana Tai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.